Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today's tutorial will be on the Mac operating system. The specific operating system I'm using in this tutorial is OSX Mountain Line, which is the latest release from Apple. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to access the host file in, again, the Mac operating system. So a couple reasons why, or a few reasons why you'd want to access the host file is if you wanted to block access on the internet or for a specific program. Uh, I don't want to get too much into detail, but if you're using programs like Little Snitch to do this for you, uh, there's actually a lot easier way to block such uh, access to the internet. So um, in the Mac operating system, what you want to do is first open up a command prompt, or in this case, a terminal. So in my case here, you can either open up terminal through the dock, which is here on the bottom, or you can go to Spotlight in the top right and just type in Terminal. So to get to the host file, from this point, all you want to do is type in sudo space nano space forward slash private forward slash etc. or etc. forward slash hosts and hit enter. Now it should prompt you to type in your pseudo password. In this case, this is the password to your operating system or whatever you use to log into your Mac if you have the, I guess, the super password. Once you type that in, you'll see your host file just pop up here. And the ones I have in here are strictly just for tests. I mean, uh, these aren't anything I'm using to block other than this is what I have in my host file, but these are some uh, some addresses, different addresses, or different blocks that people might want to have. Again, these are strictly just for tutorial. So when you're done updating the host file to save your settings, you want to hold control on your keyboard, hit X, and it should ask if you want to save. So I'll do that one more time for you guys here. I'm actually going to make a change so it tells me to save it. There you go. So again, control X and then Y for save. So it's pretty much that simple. Again, that's how you access your host file in the Mac operating system. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. You can also find us on Twitter. That's twitter.com I'm sorry, twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And we're also on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict. Thanks for watching.